how ratings on Uber Eats work. A question I receive quite often, Jermaine Ellis, how do the ratings on Uber Eats work? Is it the same five-star rating system as a normal Uber X ride or Uber Pool ride? How do the ratings work? And I thought I would, um, you know, talk about the ratings for a second. So the ratings on Uber Eats, at least in my market, San Francisco, the Bay Area, it goes on the whole model of thumbs up, thumbs down. Some people may not like it. I'm actually a fan of it, and the reason why I'm a fan of it, whenever someone gives you a thumbs down, they, they're always prompted to do things. So, I'll show you guys here. So this is pretty much what the screen looks like when um, someone orders food and the carrier drops the food off. It just pops up like this, and if there's a problem at the restaurant, you would, you know, give it a thumbs down and you would see a few options pop up, you know, taste, portion size, temperature, presentation, and, you know, the customer can leave, um, you know, portion size or temperature or whatever. There's also the option to give the carrier a bad rating. Now, just because a carrier gets a bad rating, it's not necessarily on a, you know, a one in one half ratio. Um, it's very hard to calculate how Uber um, calculates the ratings. I wouldn't really worry about if someone gives you a thumbs down or maybe they gave you a thumbs down because you're late to the drop off and maybe you accepted the order late, you know? Um, so just because you get a thumbs down, don't just freak out and think, oh, you know, I'm gonna get deactivated. Now these are some of the items that um, customers could complain about. Did not come to the door, package handling, professionalism, like to drop off. So there's a couple things that customers can like hit and just because they hit one of these, like I say, you're not necessarily gonna get deactivated. And let's say you did have a positive experience with the carrier, you give the carrier a thumbs up and then once you give the carrier a thumbs up, there's an option for you to leave a comment to, you know, tell the carrier, oh yeah, you did a great job. Um, so it's pretty much how the ratings work on Uber Eats. I think it's kind of simple. I think it's a great idea how they give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And just because you get a thumbs down does not necessarily mean that, you know, you did a bad job. It could be, you know, the order was late. So just don't freak out. With Uber Eats, they don't really show you your ratings as much like they do on Uber X. On Uber X, it's like you see your rating all the time. So sometimes that can like make you nervous about doing your job because you're thinking, oh yeah, I don't want my rating to drop. And that can like, you know, definitely change the way that you approach a situation. And doing deliveries, they don't just put it in your face like, you have a low rating. I think it's more of a, if you do something wrong enough, you'll just get cut. It's one of those deals. It's almost like a job, you know, you just get fired basically. And I think that's better than the rating system because the rating system can have some folks just, you know, tip topping on their toes the whole time. And that's not a fun way to, you know, go to work and you're like inching yourself around. But anyway, I just wanted to make a quick video talking about the rating system on Uber Eats. It's definitely a little bit different than the rating system on Uber X, Uber Pool and other Uber platforms. But yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this from me, subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace.